Hello. Hello. Oh, okay, it is working. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just moving to it. So. Okay. I think it's recording now. Fine. Would you use the mouse Yes, that would be good. Okay. Thank you. There's someone else going to use it. Okay. Yeah, it's just, but just the same code, right? Just the buttons are. Just doesn't beat. Yeah. Okay. You just gotta hit the buttons yeah. hard. Okay. Yeah. I've kept the door slightly ajar. Do you think anybody else will come in late? You just get yeah, a branch, I think it's shown. Okay, so I'll just leave it slightly open. And then you close it. No, I won't get up in the middle and go. <laughs> Once I start, I won't get up. <laughs> Should it be closed, shut? Okay. All right, we'll see. How's everybody? Good. All right. So this is a luxury, you know, an hour and 15 minutes uh, for me, for the, I mean, for giving me the space and this time to be with all of you, because I just taught two classes at the community tech center at the college and the classes were 45 minutes. It was a struggle to finish something. <laughs> Uh, in 45 minutes. So this is really good. So I see a lot of familiar faces, but uh, my name is Uma, for those who have not uh, met me before. I just moved to Iowa City from Bangalore about less than six months ago. Yeah, I've been teaching yoga, yogic practices for some time, about 15 years now. Today's class, I don't know if um, you got the mailer, um, Kimberly was asking me what kind of a class are we going to do today so uh, it's going to be a very simple body movement uh, class with uh, you know long holds understanding breath lengthening of spine and uh, 
definitely I want to spend some time with pranayama today, breathing practice separately, um, the body movements leading to breath awareness and practices, and finishing off with yoga nidra at the end. Um, again, uh, yoga nidra, I will tell you when we go to it. It's a befitting practice either to end the week or beginning your beginning your weekend. That's what I said. Or in any way you see it, it's great for um, the evening, great for the week to end. So, all right. We will uh, start as soon as I think one more person will join. Yeah. Make sure that you're able to see me and I'm able to see everyone. Yeah, so stay in between spaces. Yeah. Uh, so sit comfortably, any cross leg posture, spine lengthened. I don't use too many props. I will ask you to fetch it if you need, uh, but blocks and blankets, just fine. Sit comfortably. Visualize the top of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Upper body lengthening. Allow your shoulders to relax, chest to open, hands comfortably on your laps. Engage the pelvic floor so you feel grounded to the mat, to the floor below. As the upper body keeps reaching towards the ceiling, the lower body stays strong, rooted. Take a moment to observe your natural spontaneous breathing pattern. No need to change or alter anything. Simply watch as you breathe in, breathe out. Become familiar with your natural breathing. And slowly take a moment to observe your mind space, what's going on in there. This time, in this space, as you begin your practice, what do you come with? What is it that you have brought with you in the mental space? Again, no need to alter anything. Simply watch what it is now. We we'll keep this awareness throughout the practice. Have a look at it at the end of the practice. We'll begin the practice with one arm chant together. And as I always say, those of you who are familiar with chanting, please join me with one arm chant. Others, feel free to remain still, simply listening, breathing. Take a deep breath in as you exhale. Oh. Allow the vibrations of Om to gently fade away. Rub your palms, place them on your eyes, blink your eyes open. Arms to the heart center, namaste. We begin in a prone position. Lie down on the mat. Abdomen chest. Forehead, feet on the ground. Palms by the side of your hips, palms facing the ceiling. Ankles stretch, toes pointing towards the body. Observe your breath. Mm 
slowly raise only your right leg up about six to eight inches. Nothing strenuous, simply lift, point your toes to the back of the class and lift the right leg up. Hold it there comfortably and breathe in and breathe out. Toes are off the mat, knees, thighs, up to the hip flexors, all the meat. Hold and breathe in and out. Long deep breaths, expand chest as you inhale. Contract abdomen gently as you exhale. The other foot firmly on the ground, holding, grounding the rest of the body. Slowly release, right leg down. Adjust your body and prepare for the other side. Press the shoulders and chest down. Squeeze the abdomen and buttocks. Gently lift left leg up, same way. Toes, knees, thighs off the floor. Keep the left leg active, pointing towards the back of the foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Gently release, left leg. Feel free to turn to your cheek, lie down on one side, breathe in and out. Observe, heartbeat, observe breath. Prepare to lift both the legs this time. Again, forehead on the floor. Gently squeeze again, chest and shoulders firmly onto the mat. Feel free to place the palms under your thighs. Palms under your thighs. Feet together if possible. Prepare. Inhale. Slowly lift both the feet off the floor. Toes up. Knees, thighs, up. Point the toes towards the back of the class. Hold the posture comfortably. The upper body firmly on the mat. Lower body lifting away. Breathe in. If there is any struggle with the body, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. See how breath helps. Hold the posture. Slowly release. Release your hands. Lie down. Turn to the other cheek and lie down. Observe heartbeat. Observe breath. Let's explore with hands extended over your head. Same posture. Extend your hands towards me. Arms facing the floor or facing each other. Same way. Extend your ankles. Point the toes towards the back of the class. Squeeze the abdomen. Squeeze the buttocks. And slowly lift the toes off. Knees and thighs off the floor. Same way. Lift hands up. Forehead away, chest away from the floor. A very shallow boat posture. Now, Kasana, relax the expression on your face. Relax the neck. Very simple movement. The idea is not to conquer the posture. The idea is to allow, to breathe comfortably in any posture. Do your posture only as much as you can. Breathe well. Hold well comfortably. Expand the chest. As you inhale, contract the abdomen as you exhale. Explore opening the hands slightly wide if you need to. 
feel free to open the legs wider if you need to. Understand your body's needs. Release and relax. Make a pillow with your palms. Place your cheek or your forehead. Feel free to bend one of the knees um, along the hips this way. Like the like this. Matsya Kridasana. Breathe in, breathe out. Observe how it is. Has it changed? Why so? Breathe in deep and see how it calms down the heart. Slowly place your palms by the sides of your ribcage, thumbs touching the last rib, toes pointing behind, same way, feet can be apart. For cobra, baby cobra, Squeeze the buttocks, press your abdomen, pubic bone down onto the floor. Press your toes and lift head up, chest up. Open the shoulders, abdomen remains on the ground. Open the shoulder and chest. Hold the posture comfortably. Make sure your neck is comfortable. Breathe in and out. There goes rubbing the ribcage. Gently release chest down, forehead. We'll move on to up dog. Again, press your toes and ankles down. Press your palms down. Move the palms slightly further below towards your waist. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, forehead up. Abdomen off the floor, thighs off the floor, knees off the floor. Arch back gently, up the Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Inhale. Gently release. Knees down, thighs down. Open the knees wide apart and slide into a comfortable child's pose. Stretching the arms away from the body towards the tip of the mat. Setting the sits bones on your heels. Allowing for maximum air circulation. Open neck, shoulder, armpit. Expand chest as you inhale. Contract abdomen as you exhale. Awareness to the root of your thighs. Gently engage the root of your thighs as you exhale. Listen to the sound of your breath. Knowledge change. Preparing for first mountain. Press your palms. Tuck your toes. Lift upper body. Lift hip towards the ceiling. Chest towards your thighs. Hold the posture. Pushing the back of your legs. Back of your calf, thighs, buttocks towards the Back of the class. Keeping your neck and shoulder comfortable. Strong palms, strong hands. Explore breathing. Long deep breaths. Inhale into the chest. Exhale, squeezing the abdomen. 
two more long deep breaths. Slowly look in between your palms. Walk your toes and feet in between your palms. Feet can be apart, knees can be bent. Upper body flowing comfortably down towards the floor. Stay here and explore straightening your knees. Feel free to move the body to the side left, forward to the other side, allowing for the lower back to release, relax, stretch, warm up like that. Breathe in and out. You can hold your elbows and further bring the upper body down, just closer to the thighs. Long deep breaths, wherever you are. You can hold your toes, pull your upper body towards the floor, chest towards the thighs. Keep engaging the pelvic floor, squeeze the inner thighs, breathe in and out, neck relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Gently lift your head up, look forward at the edge of your mat, hands on your hips. Moment to observe. Breath, body. Release your hands, feet apart, hands apart. Breathe in, breathe out. Everybody okay so far? On your knees. <clears throat> right leg forward. Toes behind. Simply lift. Heel the chest away without coming onto your knees. Yeah? So let's push the left toes all the way behind, stretching the inner thighs. And you should be resting almost on the top of your thigh rather than your knee. So now once you've come here, when we lift the chest up, we shouldn't come up like this. Yeah, We should keep this legs as it is, just peel the chest away. So you'll feel a stretch on your left Thighs, left quadriceps. So that's what we're looking at. Squeeze the buttons. Chest up. Breathe in. And out. Open your hands to the side each first. It's easier. Breathe in. Keep engaging the left buttons. Breathe in. And if possible, raise both the hands up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. In. Slowly release hands. And bring up right leg behind. Watch your heartbeat. Watch your breath. Watch the entire left side of the body. Ready for the other side. Left leg forward. Right toes sliding behind as if to try to push them away from the mat. Inner thighs close to the mat. There is no curve in the spine. Hips are not lifted. Hips are down. Chest up. When you come up, peel the chest away. The rest of the body remains down. Feel that stretch. Breathe in and out. Open the hands to the sides. Breathe in. And now squeeze the right buttocks. Engage the inner thighs. Raise both the hands up. Breathe in. So we bring the left knee. Take a moment to observe 
effects of the practice before we move on to a counter course. Small twist, which again, right leg forward, stretch the back leg behind the same way. This time, turn your upper body to the right. Keep leaning forward, turn your entire upper body to the right. And prepare to hook your left elbow outside. Yes. Now you can stay here or see if you can join your palms. Keep leaning forward. See if you can breathe in and breathe out comfortably. Can you stay here for the next 30 minutes? What will help? Perhaps long deep breaths. How about squeezing the left clothes, left buttocks? Will that make you feel stronger? Seasoned practitioners, and if you're ready, tuck your left toes and slowly lift the left knee off the floor. What are we struggling here for? Is it balance? Is it strength? How does breath help? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly release the hands. Drop the left knee. Pull the right leg behind. Sit down with your contours or toes pointing. Again, observe. If I solve the practice. If the purpose of yoga is to find peace and to settle the mind, then what is the purpose of asanas? What is the purpose of postures? Now strenuous on the body. How does that help you achieve the state that we are looking for? Keep exploring, keep observing as you use your body. Left leg forward. Long stride, push the right toes behind. Begin twisting the body towards the left wall, the right elbow outside of your left thigh. Palms to the heart center, twist and stay. Make yourself most comfortable. Prepare to explore further. Tuck your right toes. Lift the right knee off the mat, leaning forward further. Breathe in and out. Hold only as long as you can, as you need to. The idea is not to allow your heartbeat to change its rhythm. No quickening of the heartbeat, no shallowing of the breath. Releasing your own time, slowly drop the hands down, right knee down, no bag. Now, preparing to change the orientation. Slowly moving away to towards seated postures. Open hips, heels close to the inner thighs, spine length. Allow the heartbeat to slow down. And slowly take the belly button to the heels. Belly button to the heel. So nothing happens to the, to the head or the back. The back remains straight. The chest remains open. Only the belly button towards the heel. So the work is all in the inner thighs. And slowly now chest on to the feet, to the toes. Feel free to drop your elbows, prop yourself. So the back remains stretched long. Breathe in and out. 
Long, deep breaths. Engage the pelvic floor. Squeeze the inner thighs. Squeeze the anal sphincter as you exhale. And here you can try walking your hands away further. Keep it. You can extend, expand the hands. Keep walking away further. Allow the upper body to gently fall towards the earth. Giving into gravity without force. Explore how long deep breaths allow you to hold the posture. And go perhaps a little bit deeper. You to slowly walk your hands back, lift your chest. Release your left leg forward, keep your right knee bent. Curl your toes and same way, reach, hold on to your heels, um, ankle, toes or calf, whatever you can reach. Keep the chest stuck. Spine length and shoulders relaxed. Inhale and do only halfway. Open your elbows and just fold only halfway so that this doesn't happen. Okay? So the shoulders need to be relaxed and open for you to breathe well. So the moment you try to curl yourself, you're stopping that breath from being optimal. So let's keep do only halfway. Keep the shoulders down, chest open, inhale. And gently pull your upper body towards the legs. In course of time, as you keep on holding, you'll be able to take your chest towards the thighs. Allow for it to happen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Make sure the neck is comfortable. Move it left to right. Relax the shoulders. Curl the toes. Keep the Extended leg active. Engage the pelvic floor. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly come back up. And extend the same leg to the side. You can turn sides or just open it. Excellent. Reach your left hand towards the outer edge of your left foot. And keep the upper body open. Place your right elbow on your hips or waist. Excellent. Look towards the ceiling. And try to drop the right elbow towards the floor behind. Lift the chest up. Allow the head to be in line with the spine. Breathe in, breathe out. And keep opening the chest, twisting, allowing the sternum to face the ceiling, dropping the right elbow towards the floor. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeeze the abdomen as you breathe. Slowly back to center. Release left hand. Okay. Change legs. Let's start with the forehead to knee on the other side. Hold forward again with all the same instructions as before. Not to choke yourself, not to squeeze the neck and shoulders. Allow the upper body to reach slowly. Breathe in and out.
slowly do this. And open the right leg to the right side. And repeat. Slowly extend your right hand towards the outer edge of your right foot. Lift the chest. Open the shoulder. And make sure your head is not already towards the left. Keep the upper body the same way. You only extend your waist. Hands on your hip and start dropping the left elbow towards the floor and lift the whole body up towards the ceiling. So twist and up. So this is as much a twist as it is a lateral stretch. Breathe in and out three. Four. Five. Slowly repeats. Don't forget to acknowledge all the experiences, whatever is happening, warmth, stretch, difficulty, pain, any kind of discomfort, whatever is happening. Now you can just simply bend the um, right knee, keep the left leg like this for yet another simple twist. Simply drop your hands on one side of the thigh, twist upper body, look over the back shoulder. Engage the pelvic floor, squeeze the inner thighs, breathe in, breathe out. Long deep breaths. Slowly release. Change sides. And again, twist. Look over the back shoulder. You can use your fingertips. Remember not to lean back. Use the back fingertips only to give length to your spine rather than leaning backward. Breathe in and out. Awareness to your waist, lower back, middle back, upper back, neck. Slowly release. How face falls, go mukhasana. Any leg. One leg on top of the other, knees stacked onto each other. Simply hold your ankles as much as you can. Spine lengthened. Inhale. Slowly exhale. Fold. Fold forward. Chest on your thighs. Chin outside of your knee. Long deep breaths. It's fine if it is difficult. Understand, acknowledge and accept. What is it that is making this posture difficult, uncomfortable? You try sitting on the block. Lean forward, long deep breaths. Awareness to the glutes, whichever side of your hips and buttocks are being stretched. Pay attention. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. And then your own time slowly release, change sides. Keep 
hinge legs. Same way, fold both the ankles and lean forward. Abdomen and chest on your thighs, chin outside of your knees, reaching towards the ground. Feel free to extend your hands and fold. It all depends on how ready you are. Remember to go only three-fourths of the extent of your usual practice. The idea is to be able to fold and hold comfortably without agitating the heart rate. Engage the pelvic floor, squeeze the inner thighs. Use your hands for support. Breathe in and out. Slowly move back. Release your legs. So last movement, and then we will move on to pranayama. A double um, so the fire log pose is what you call in English. So one knee is parallel to the mat, and the other knee is also parallel. So basically, the heels on the knee, knee on the heel. So it's the thighs are straight. The knee is pointing forward in, in, in a particular way. And you just stack them up. Fire logs like firewood. Okay. Again, here, place your hands by the side and slowly walk away from the body. Hands forward. Again, hold the posture in a way that you are comfortable without pain being the most intense sensation. Breathe in and out. Those of you who are ready, you can drop your elbows down, go ahead towards the floor. Breathe in and breathe out. How seated postures affect the lower part of the body. How long holds affect spine and breathing. And how postures prepare you for breathing practice, subtler, higher practices. We will see that now. Slowly walk your hands towards yourself, release the top leg, now change. But make sure the heel is away from the body and it's not bent towards you. So you should form a seven. And then the other heel goes on top of the lower knee. And the toes are flexed, so they're pointing forward. So like fire logs. Same way, fold forward, use your fingertips to walk away from the body and fold. Squeeze the inner thighs. Long deep breaths. Relax the shoulder and neck. Slowly walk your hands back.
lie down on the mat for Shavasana for a few moments to relax the entire body. And then we will do pranayama and then we will do yoga nidra. So this Shavasana is exactly 16 breaths for you to relax. Feet apart, hands away from the body. Long deep breaths, chin tucked in towards the collarbones. Use breath and awareness to calm down any discomforts in the body. Expand chest and abdomen as you inhale. Gently allow the chest and abdomen to contract as you exhale. Eyes softly closed, mouth softly closed. Be fully aware of your body on the mat. Be aware of the way you're breathing now. Continue to breathe in the same way. Count backwards from 16 to 1. Inhale and exhale is one breath. So count 16. Breathe in. Breathe out. 15. Inhale. Exhale. 14. Inhale. Exhale. Keep on counting. Do not skip a breath. Do not skip a number. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, slowly prepare to come out of stillness, wiggle your toes, fingertips, move your neck from left to right, stretch your whole body, bend your knees, turn to the right, lie down, curl for a moment and sit up facing forward. Sit in any comfortable cross leg posture. At this point, if you need a sip of water, if you need to use the washroom, please feel free to do so. For the next 20 minutes, we will be practicing breathing practices followed by yoga nidra. So if there is, if you need to cover yourself up, socks, anything else, if you need a blanket, please go ahead and get some. Everyone okay so far? Sit comfortably. We will be sitting for a long time. If you need to lean against a wall, feel free to do so. Against the pillar, you know, those pillars. If you need to sit against the wall, feel free to do so. Take your mat, sit there. Yeah. If you're not used to sitting cross-legged for some time, it may be difficult. Here again, bring on the awareness of 
the top of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Lower back, lower body firmly on the ground. Hands comfortably on your laps, on your knees. Chin towards the collarbone. Remember not to lift the neck up. Chin towards the collarbone. Relax shoulders, keep the chest open. Awareness to yogic breathing. As you breathe in, make sure you fill up all the three sections of both your lungs. Filling up the lower section, the mid section, and the uppermost section. And also be aware that the chest is like a barrel and it can expand to the side, to the front, and upwards. In the front and in the back. The entire body expands like a barrel as you inhale. So feel free to keep your eyes half closed. Look down at your chest. Inhale completely. And as you exhale, same way, allow the chest to contract. And to exhale completely, squeeze the abdomen, pushing the diaphragm to push all the air out. So let's breathe this way for the next six counts with complete awareness to yogic breathing. I always say when you breathe in, breathe as if you're going to take the maximum breath and you're going to dive into a pool. How will you make that breath sustain long? Same way, breathe in completely, inhale deep. Exhale. Five more times. Once you become fully familiar to yogic breathing, slowly bring your chin towards the collarbone and make a fat face as if you're pressing down on the throat. And so now when you breathe, you will hear a hissing sound. As you breathe out again, you will hear a hissing sound. And let's continue this way, pressing the throat center for ujjayi, locking the chin onto the throat center. Inhale. Exhale. Continue another 11 breaths. You may keep your eyes half closed or fully closed. And naturally, allow your fingers to curl into a chin mudra, bringing the thumb and index together without any strain. Either palm facing up or palm facing on the knees. Naturally bringing a softly touching thumb and index. Chin towards the collarbones, pressing down on the throat center for ujjayi breaths. Inhale. Continue to keep the awareness of the top of your head reaching towards the ceiling. Lower body firmly on the ground. Ujjayi. Let's 
to become firmly established with Ujjayi breathing, allow the exhalations to become slightly longer than the inhalations. It will naturally become so without you straining. Simply become aware of it. Inhale Ujjayi. Exhale slightly longer. Last five breaths for Jai. Exhalations longer than inhalations. We call this one is to two. Ujjayi breathing. After the next exhalation, prepare to inhale deep. Simply keep the chin locked and hold the breath within the chest and abdomen. Hold it as long as you can, as long as you comfortably can, without changing the heartbeat rhythm. And at the end of the hold, slowly exhale the same way, gently. Go back to normal breaths. Ujjayi with Antar Kumbhaka, internal retention of breath. And in your own time. Remember, it's not a challenge, it's an experience to explore, understand. After coming back to normal breaths, gently release your legs to make yourself comfortable. Extend your hands forward, hold. Surely come back up. If you need to release your legs, wiggle your toes, point and flex, rub your knees. Please feel free to do so. Yes.
Okay, for one more breathing practice, alternate nostril breathing. Most of you are familiar with this. So for that, we use uh, Vishnu Mudra like this, or some people do it other ways, whatever it is. Basically, we need to close one nostril and release the other nostril. Okay, so breathe in through. Start always breathing through your left nostril. Inhale, left. I'm mirroring you. So inhale, left. Close left nostril. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close right nostril. Exhale, left. Head in line with the spine. There's a tendency to always allow the head or neck to slide towards the right side. Consciously correct that. Sit strong. Allow the head to reach towards the ceiling. Engage the pelvic floor. Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama, Nadi Shodhana, Anulom Vilom. It's known by many names. Simply allowing to breathe in through one nostril at a time, breathing out through the other. If you have a sinus problem or a deviated septum or difficulty breathing through a particular nostril, mm -hmm. please do not force yourself. Welcome to drop your hands and breathe in normally through both nostrils. Awareness to the breath as it slowly travels through one nostril at a time, reaching towards the eyebrow center and flowing through the other nostril. Even if you're not using your hands, you can visualize this. Breathe in. You can use your mind. You can use your will to breathe in through one nostril, breathe out through the other. Just like how we did in Ujjayi, keep on breathing complete breaths and slowly as you get firmly established, see if you can breathe out longer each time. You may count in your mind as you breathe in one, two, three, four. As you breathe out again, you may count one, Two, three, four, five, six. Just a little longer. Continue alternate nostril breathing. Another three more rounds. Exhaling through the left nostril, slowly prepare to release your hands back onto the laps. As we finished Ujjayi, here again we will inhale deep, bring our chin towards the collarbone, close the throat center, squeeze the inner thighs, close the exit points and hold the breath within. Finishing with an antar kumbhaka, internal retention. Breathe in deep. Jalandra bandha, close, throat center. Mola bandha, squeeze inner thighs. Hold the breath within comfortably.
from your own time. Slowly release chin lock, root chakra lock. Exhale completely. Go back to normal breaths. A moment to reflect on the subtle effects of the simple practice. Whatever emotions you are going through, whatever small sensations you are going through, simply observe, acknowledge. We'll finish with five rounds of Brahmari Pranayama. Again, a familiar practice. Thumb inside the ears, closing the ears completely. Place the rest of the fingers gently over your face, spread out, very gently. Inhale deep. Exhale, making the sound of a bumblebee. end of five rounds, slowly releasing your hands back onto your laps, allowing the vibrations of Brahmari to gently permeate through your entire upper body, fingertips, chest, face, forehead, entire head space. Slowly prepare to lie down on your mat in uh, Shavasana for Yoga Nidra. Again, if there is anything that you would need to do before observing stillness, feel free to do so. If you put on your socks, you may feel a little cold. Use a blanket to cover yourself. Put on your jackets. <laughs> you can use uh, some towel to close your eyes if it is too bright. Adjust your body. Feel free to make any movements with the body. Stretch, twist, fold. Remember not to abruptly stop all the movements. Allow the body to relax and settle down. So Shavasana, feet apart. Hands slightly away from the body, palms facing the ceiling. Adjust the back of your neck. Bring your chin towards the collarbone gently. Take a deep breath in, breathe out softly. Eyes softly closed, mouth softly closed. Complete awareness. 
the place of practice to the time to your body the presence of others in this space of practice preparing yourself to keep the body still but remain awake Remain awake so you can listen to the instructions, follow the voice, and follow the instructions. Take a mental picture of where you are, with your eyes closed, Recollect the floor, the walls, ceiling, the other objects on the floor, the wall, the ceiling. Picture yourself on your mat. Position of your body on the mat. Clothes on your body. Awareness to the entire left side of your body. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Awareness to the entire right side of your body. From the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Awareness to your whole upper body. The heart, the chest, the abdomen, all the vital organs, the head, the brain, the sense organs. Awareness to the entire lower body, the limbs, the hips, feet. Awareness to your arms, right and left, arms and fingertips. Awareness to the back of your body in contact with the mat. The whole body. Awareness to your breath at this time. As the whole body remains still, become aware that your chest and abdomen continues to expand and contract as you breathe in and breathe out. Listening to the sounds of your own breath. Sounds of your own heartbeat. Slowly prepare for rotation of consciousness. I will call out names of your body parts. Simply take your awareness to the body part without moving the body part. As I call out the names of the body part, repeat it in your mind. Get a mental picture of your own body part. Remember how it looks. And try to see how it feels without moving that body part. We always begin with the left, right thumb. Take your awareness to your right thumb. Slowly move your awareness to the second finger, the third finger, fourth, the little finger. Awareness to your right palm, 
back of your right palm, right wrist, right forearm, elbow, right upper arm, right shoulder. Awareness to the right side of your chest, right armpit, rib cage, right hip, right thigh, knee, right shin, the lower part of your right leg. Awareness to your right foot, the soles of your right foot, the toes, big toe, second, third, fourth, a little toe. Awareness to the entire right leg, the entire right side of your body. Remember not to sleep. Remember not to move. Keep listening. Keep following the instructions. The awareness should keep moving from one part to the other. Keep jumping. Keep moving the awareness. You repeat on the left. Start with the left thumb. Second finger. Middle finger. Ring finger. Little finger of your left hand. Awareness to all five fingers. The entire left palm. Back of your left palm. Left wrist. Left forearm. Left inner elbow. Left upper arm. Left shoulder. The left side of your chest. Left armpit. The entire left side of your body, left waist, hip, left thigh, knee, shin, left foot, sole of your left foot, toes of your left foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, Fourth toe, little toe of your left foot, entire left side of your body, entire left leg, entire left side of your foot. Keep breathing. Awareness now to the back of your body, heels and ankles of the left leg and the right leg, the calves of your body. In contact with the mat, left and right. Back of your knees, left and right. Back of your thighs, left and right. Buttocks in contact with the mat, left and right. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Awareness to the shoulder blades in contact with the mat. The back of your arms, right and left. Awareness to the back of your neck and your head. Fully in contact with the mat. Awareness to the top of your head. Forehead. Eyebrows right and left. Eyebrow center. Awareness to your eyes closed. Right and left, eyeballs, eyelids, harness to your eyelashes, right and left. Harness to your cheeks, right, left, ears, right, left. Harness to your nose. Tip of your nose, nostrils right and left. Awareness to your mouth, the upper lip, your lower lip, space between the lips. Awareness to the entire oral cavity, teeth, Gums, 
tongue. The tip of your tongue. Part of your tongue that's in contact with the roof of your mouth. Awareness to the root of your tongue, all the way deep into your throat. Awareness to the entire mouth. Awareness to your chin, throat, neck, collarbones, right and left. Throat center, the gentle cavity between the two collarbones. Awareness to the middle of your chest, the right side of your chest, left side of your chest. Awareness to the upper abdomen, middle of your abdomen, the belly button. Awareness to the lower abdomen. Awareness to hips, the root of your thighs, the entire pelvic region. Awareness to your right leg, left leg. The whole body, the whole body, awareness to your whole body. Awareness back to your breath. Awareness back to the up and down movement of your chest and abdomen as you breathe in and breathe out. Awareness back to the whole body on the mat, the floor, the clothes on your body. Awareness to others in this space practicing short relaxation with you. Awareness to the sounds in this space, far away sounds, close by sounds, loud sounds. Soft sounds. Awareness to the end of the practice. Awareness to the end of short relaxation. Slowly wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingertips. Move your neck from left to right. Slowly blink your eyes open. Look at the ceiling. Slowly allow the eyes to get familiar with the light. Awareness back to your body, to your state of mind. Slowly bring your legs together, stretch your hands above your head. Prepare to come out of stillness. Bend your knees, curl yourself to the right fetal position. Awareness to where we began, each one of us. Moment to pay your gratitude to Mother Earth. Slowly sit up in your own time. Use your hands without straining your body, slowly sit up. Facing forward. Take a moment to observe the subtle effects of the practice. happens and there is silence. We'll finish with one Om Chan together. Spine lengthen, inhale deep. 
Keep rubbing your palms. Remember to massage your whole face. Back of your neck. Short. Eyebrows. Pinch your ear, the entire ear, back of your ear. Thank you for joining me today. For a long time, I was able to enjoy <laughs> a long class. Thank you. Have a great evening, great weekend. See you soon. Hi, thank you. I didn't know so many people joined. So nice. Bye-bye. See you next time. Have a good weekend.